So today we are using this box cake mix and turn it into this bomb, delectable, delicious, tart and sweet lemon blueberry bars. These right here are so delicious, so, so easy. We're just going to be using everyday ingredients in your pantry. So if you want to see how I put this together, you definitely do want to keep on watching. Of course, we're going to start with a box cake mix. I am using Duncan Hines Perfect Lemoyne's Lemon Supreme. It is a very, very delicious cake mix. I have um, worked with it several times. I've done a lot of recipes with it. I would link some in the description box below. So I'm just going to go there and run that through my sifter just to get rid of some of the lumps. It did have some big lumps. I tried to crush it and then that's it. It keeps it nice and airy. And then in another bowl, we're going to start off with our wet ingredients. I am starting off with half a cup of whole milk at room temperature. I'm also adding one third cup of unsalted butter. And I use Kerrygold butter. You can use any good quality butter. Here I am adding two eggs at room temperature. And for flavoring, I am going to be using a teaspoon of lemon extract. So delicious and it would beautifully complement it with another teaspoon of vanilla extract. So there goes in my extract. I'm just going in with a whisk to combine my wet ingredients. If you notice, this is different from the box cake mix that I usually would do. I was hoping for something different and it worked perfectly. So just follow the instructions um and the measurements in this recipe which will be listed in the description box below now it is time to mix our wet and dry ingredients together and going in with my hand mixer i am just following the instructions in the back of the box right now which is just to beat on low speed for 30 seconds and then um increase your speed to a medium high and beat for an additional two minutes you can see that i'm scraping the size of my bowl with a spatula just to make sure that all of the dry ingredients are well incorporated now here i have half a cup of blueberries and i'm going to toss it toss it in um a teaspoon of all-purpose flour this will help our blueberries to not sink to the bottom of our um, cake bars okay now i uh, took off the excess flour by just running it through my sifter and now of course the cherry on top is to zest this baby there is nothing like a good lemon cake lemon brownie or any lemon recipe without some fresh lemon zest so i'm using the zest of a whole lemon right in here and already i can just smell it so good you guys blueberries and lemon match made in heaven it is absolutely delightful and very refreshing just take a look at it so now i'm just going in with my spatula and gently folding everything together you do not want to go in with your mixer or your whisk at this time i'm gently just folding it in with my spatula if you are enjoying this recipe please do go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it and you would also notice that the batter is quite thick which is absolutely fine so now i am going to be baking this in an eight by eight um baking dish you can use glass you can use whatever metal that you like but this is the perfect size so that we could get you know the perfect thickness for it so i am first going in with uh, my pan baking spray just so it could release easily um and then i would go ahead and line it up with parchment paper i just put the parchment paper on it and then i just measured and kind of cut it up to fit my um stuff perfectly and that was it and now it is time to pour all of our good batter into our prepared pan and by this time my oven is already preheated to 350 degrees fahrenheit which is what we're going to be baking at today now of course this was super thick so i kind of struggled a little bit but it was absolutely fine and i was able to get it all leveled up and this is what it looks like we're going to be baking today at 350 degrees for at least 20 to 25 minutes or unless or until a skewer inserted in the middle comes out dry and clean so this was my cake as you can see it is not burnt it is still that perfect golden brown and it was done so now i have to let this cool down completely and in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and make a quick glaze this is fun so over here i have two cups of um powdered sugar and in that i am going to use some freshly squeezed lemon juice i highly recommend freshly squeezed lemon juice instead of the store bought one but if, if but if that's what you have go ahead and use that but you will get better results with this 
So I ended up with three and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I also went on with a little bit of a vanilla extract and I mix everything together. If it's too thick, just add more lemon juice in it and just mix it. If it's too runny, just add more powdered sugar and until you get the right consistency. So this is what it looks like. Now I am going in with some blueberry jelly. This is really, really good. This is, I'm only using one teaspoon. It would add the perfect color and you would see the specks of fresh blueberries, especially with this particular brand. I absolutely love it. It was the perfect cherry on top again for our glaze. Again, this might be optional for a lot of people. If you don't have it or you don't want to use it, that's fine. But if you guys can see those peaks of blueberries peeking through, I am loving this right now. You want the glaze to be really, really thick and pourable. That way it would just sit on the top of your cake and it's just perfect. Now my cake has been chilling and as you can see, I removed it from the parchment paper and, and now it is back to room temperature. And now this is my glaze. I just gave it another um, quick mix just to get everything out because it's been sitting for a little bit. And now I'm just going to pour it over the cool cake and that will be it. This is so satisfying. Now, once you do this, you really want to give it time. I would recommend you do this ahead of time, at least an hour before you cut into it so that this glaze can settle on top of um, the cake. Okay. So I'm just going in with the back of a spoon just to smoothen everything out. Y'all. Mm -hmm. I really hope you guys get to try this recipe. And when you do, please feel free to tag me either on Instagram or Facebook. My handle is Mansa Queen, just like the name of the channel. So now I'm going to let it sit for at least an hour before I cut into it so I can allow this beautiful glaze to set. And y'all, this was it. I just went ahead and cut it through. You can garnish this, throw some few uh, fresh blueberries, and you're ready to go. Can you see that? It is just so perfect and fun, especially for like events, gatherings, or just maybe just Sunday night um, dinner. It's just easy to grab and go. It is not as, you know, moist as the cake recipe, which I make here on the channel. And it is also not as dense as a brownie, but it's just perfect. And I love it. Really fresh, really refreshing, and absolutely delightful. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.